Okay, fine. Wait, Ma, does it read every time you get a high five? No, I just hit the volume button. <laughs> All right, so a few days ago, I went into my school library and I took a look at some of the magazines that they had and found that only one magazine had this notice on it. This book is to not leave the vicinity of school canvas. And so, I took the book home and, uh, well, I'm gonna make a collage out of it. I guess you could say uh, I'm a bit of a rebel. This is pretty much a crime on video, so. If I get in trouble, it's meant to be. I don't know what sparked this idea in my head, but I got my canvas over here and, um, well, we got our first little, I don't know what this is. Uh, I cut it out, maybe we can make something of that later. Mmm. Okay, so now we got, um, well, we're gonna call him Jim. This is Jim the alien. We're thriving. I don't know where the scissors went. Here's an explosion with a with a face for no reason. I, is it a cat? Is that is that a, is that a cat? Well, whatever it is, it's mine now. So we got a we got a space space suit right there. I will gladly just um. I just ripped out two pages. It's not like it matters though, because no one reads these magazines at school. There we go. Continuing the theme of space and aliens, we got our. We got a spaceman in the corner, right? Yep. If I were to show you this image with no context, it just looks cursed. That's a face inside of an apple. I'm gonna take the eyes off of this and put it on the alien because. Stop texting me, please. Because I think it would be kind of funny. It, um. Stop texting me, please. My parents would be very concerned if they walked in on this. But they won't because it's 2 in the morning and I don't have a bedtime anymore. Well, Mom, you know what I have to say to that? I'm grateful for the food you put on the table, the clothes you put on my back, and everything else that you do. There we go. That alien is, uh, he's, he's, uh, kind of quirky, though. I just kind of realized this is just kind of taped on. So, uh, do this and perfect. Yep. Oh, yes. I found him a friend. Where where did the head go? That is something you only hear in a horror film. You know, I think this is starting to come together quite nice. My psychologist is going to have a blast trying to figure this one out. Hey, Google, what's the average lifespan of an alpaca? Hey, lifespan alpacas live from 15 to 20 years. Do you want a little more context? No, I'm good. Okay, so this cutie right here is definitely going in the collage. He was in an article talking about how this alpaca has been alive for 23 years. And that's why you should all eat your greens and, and vegetables and fruits. Ooh, yes, okay, I'm gonna cut this out and we will still- I got a little bit of this guy's face so he's just he's gonna be on the moon that's fine i'll just leave it like there look he's 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 looking down on everyone and is very disappointed okay now it's time to start spelling out some words because i feel like we got enough pictures going on here i'm gonna start with diy lit diy goonie box i don't even know what that is but hey it sounds kind of funny i think it's missing something the boys. It's missing the boys. Sorry, Jimmy. It looks like I accidentally cut your hairline a little a little too short. We got this guy looking down on the moon. We got a egghead astronaut. We got a blue astronaut because diversity. We got a yellow fire hydrant. Uh, um, there's nothing to say about that. Uh, I'll, yeah, alpaca, that's what they're called. Uh, 54 out of 63. Oh,